what is up you guys welcome back so in today's video i'm going to be doing my bathroom my guest bathroom upstairs basically finally i mean honestly it's about time i've been here now for about eight months and yeah i just need to get a move on some of these rooms so that i can have the final house tour and have everything furnished and done how i want it i don't know if y'all can hear that outside but sorry okay so let's head upstairs so this is the bathroom we're gonna work on i already took everything out that was in there it wasn't much this is how it is before so really good bones to work with but yeah just a nice big blank wall not really super you know big or anything so that's a good thing it's not too much that we have to do in here so before i get the supplies i need to measure out this wall because of course i'm doing some paneling and i need to know my distance so honestly most times i get um everything cut at lows but i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to buy a whole bunch of the mdf panels kind of like we did on the molding downstairs buy a whole bunch of them do my mapping out per panel and then cut them here instead just be sure so but i know that my longest one should be at least 93 inches so uh, it is <laughs> all right so following similar steps like we did when we did the accent wall downstairs we took some tape now i'm going to take this measurement tape put it on one of our panels and we're going to get to cutting and I'm going to do everyone one by one because I know that my floors are uneven because this is what I ran into before. So since we're not taking out the baseboards, I want to make sure all of them are even. I just put the piece of tape from the top to the bottom and that's where we mark where we want to cut. So after cutting with that jigsaw in that last clip that you just saw, I just take all of the panels or whatever you want to call them, I call them panels, up back to the room um, using a level and my nail gun to just position it onto the wall and nail it in place. Probably is best to look for studs. I did that on the other side, um, but you know. I will say a lot of people like to use liquid nails or some glue adhesive and nail it. I just don't like to. Just in case, you know, when I take it down ever, if I feel like I don't want this anymore, I don't want my walls to be all messed up, so. It's gonna be really nice when you put the hooks. Oh yeah, and the paint. Mm -hmm. So I didn't record me nailing every single panel because I felt like it was pretty self-explanatory. But after doing that, I just took some of my little dry decks spackling and started to fill all of the cracks and nail holes. And if you watch my accent wall video, you know that this goes on pink and then it dries white when it is ready to be sanded. So here I'm sanding it, but you can see on the left, I added on some more, uh, I guess, paneling to wrap around that corner edge of the wall. Now my favorite messy part, caulk. Um, this just makes everything look clean. So putting this along the gaps and edges of all the panels so that it looks like it seamlessly goes into the wall. So this is the paint color I got. I will put everything in the description, but it's this nice peachy clay color. It does look a little brown when you put it on the wall, but overall it's a really nice, warm and pretty color. Um, I actually matched it to a piece of artwork that I was going to put on this wall um, inside the store so that I could get the perfect color. And this is what it looks like when I finished. So like I said, it does look a little brown on camera, but it's really like peach clay um, in person.
So now time for the wall art. So I got these 16 by 20 inch frames from Target and then I actually ordered the digital prints online at Etsy and got them printed out at Walgreens and then just put them in the frames so I can put them up and that's me dropping it. But um, yeah, that's a super easy hack or way um, to dress up a room that I've realized. You can buy digital downloadable prints on Etsy for really cheap. Like these set of three was like $5 I think. Um, and then you just get them printed. So next it was time to put up my towel slash robe hooks. So I got these black metal hooks from Lowe's. They curve up and I just felt like it was really cute and went with the vibe that I was going for. So I just drilled some pilot holes into my panel um, and then screwed the hooks into the wall. Moving on to the shower curtain, I needed to take down my old shower curtain, which was just this, you know, little sparkly gray one that I think I might have gotten from Ross. I don't know. Took that down and replaced it with this cute one that I got from Target. And I also got those black like paper clip looking hooks to hook them on from Target as well. Also from Target, I got these like braided looking white rugs. They were super expensive, honestly do not recommend, but I thought they were cute and you know, when you start spending, you can't stop. Next, I got this little wheat looking plant from the Christmas section at Hobby Lobby and I later put that in a vase. Then I also got this from Target. It's just a little basket that I planned to put um, some towels in. So since I had put up those black hooks on the opposite um, wall, I decided I did not want this towel holder over the toilet anymore. So I took those out um, and unscrewed what they were mounted in. Hindsight, <laughs> maybe I should have thought of something else because you will see I used a patch and that spackling to kind of cover the holes, but I probably should have just used the spackling without that patch because I feel like I almost made it look worse after the fact, but I'm showing you what I did anyway. So like before, once it dried white, it was time to sand it. And this was when I realized that it did not <laughs> look good. But um, either way, I just took my paint. I was being lazy, so I took a roller with my hand and just dipped it in and, um, you know, colored it on the wall. <laughs> Painted it on the wall, rather. So you guys, depending on how this dries, I honestly feel like I made it worse. And the holes weren't that big and now it looks a little bit bigger. So we'll just see how it dries, but I know that this is gonna be a distraction for it anyway, so I'm not really too concerned. But yeah, my first like real mess up during a DIY home project. <laughs> Enjoy. So I knew I wanted something round to go over the toilet. So I got this round wall piece from Home Goods. So just using my level to make sure that it's level on the wall and drilling in some pilot holes so that I could screw in some nails or screws um, to hang it up. And lastly, I wanted to keep it simple. So I just put a little incense that I've had for forever and a candle up there to set the vibe. And that was it. So um, last minute touches, this was the before. So that completes my guest bathroom makeover. I honestly love, love, love it. It is completely transformed. And I hope you guys love it as well and enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And I will see you guys later. Bye.